It could be a game changer. New COVID-19 tests that's cheaper, faster than the rest. CBS News Jim Williams reports it's artificial intelligence making the diagnosis. This is such a unique collaborative experience. An engineering professor, a physician, two men joining forces at Northwestern University, leading a team of researchers who created a new way to detect COVID-19. We used a form of artificial intelligence called deep learning. Agalis Kutagalis and Ramsey Waby and their Northwestern colleagues created an artificial intelligence program to spot COVID-19 in lung x-rays, training and testing the computer program using 17,000 x-rays. So the same way a little child learns to distinguish between a cat and a dog, the parents say, oh, here's a cat, here's another cat. And after a few times, the child can distinguish cats and dogs. It's a, a very similar process imitating at some level how humans learn. This was a system that performed as well as uh, a, a team of very experienced uh, thoracic radiologists, specialized radiologists. And so not every institution has that level of expertise available. And here's the other advantage. The AI program detects COVID in the lungs quickly, very quickly. The uh, artificial intelligence can tell you within seconds whether or not COVID has been detected. That's correct. 10 times faster than even specialized radiologists looking at the same x-ray, the researchers insist. And there's no comparison between the speed of the AI detection and the time it takes to get a result from the COVID test we've come to know. The problem is those tests can take hours or days even to come back. And so a system that's able to detect COVID-19 in, in a matter of seconds um, could be very helpful for triage and infection control in a hospital. Still, the man emphasized the AI test is not designed to replace the COVID-19 test many of us have taken because not all signs of the coronavirus will show up on an X-ray. This is subject to approval from the Food and Drug Administration. We're live, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News.